1047 Games are back with their follow-up to 2021 viral blow-up game, Splitgate. Becoming famous due to its futuristic weaponry, traditional arena shooter gameplay, with the added twist of portals making movement fun, fluid and extremely rewarding. Then, in September 2022, 1047 announced they'd be ceasing development of Splitgate so they could move on to their next game which would be developed in Unreal Engine 5 and set in the same universe. So here we are, almost two years later, and the announcement at Splitgate 2 had those of us who played the first buzzing with excitement. New graphics which look amazing, new maps to sink our teeth into, a faction system to suit our playstyles, weapons specialised for each faction, abilities and equipment. Then they announced what we were all waiting for, alpha testing, ready to open their arms to the public once again and let us see what they've been working on. Before we get into the review, I'm just going to start by saying this. Yes, it is an alpha test. Nothing is perfect and expecting it to be perfect is crazy. But on the flip side, we can only judge what they've given us and they've deemed what they've given us a fair representation of their game by giving it to us. I've made no effort to hide my excitement for this game covering the announcement and gameplay reveals, due to how highly anticipated this game was for me. I say this so it's understood these opinions all come from someone who was very excited for this project and this information needs to be viewed in that setting. As well, this is all of course my opinion. If you disagree that's fine, just please be respectful in the comments about anything you disagree with. Firstly, let's talk about the good. The time and effort put into moving themselves over to Unreal Engine 5 for this game has absolutely been worth it visually. The colour palette, the textures all look amazing. It's genuinely a very pretty game and very bright and colourful, which in a world of Halo and Call of Duty and Battlefield is a nice change. Despite being an alpha, the game runs phenomenally well. I was comfortably able to push 200 plus frames at 1080p on ultra settings preset on a modest PC build. Add to this that when I dropped down my settings to the bare minimum, the game still looked really good. I'm confident that this game will run really, really well on all PCs and consoles, which is always a good starting point. The maps all have more theme to them this time. A few maps in the original did have a theme, but in the ranked playlist that me and my friends played more, most of them were all very bland. This is no longer the case, as they've clearly spent time bringing the maps to life with thoughtful design into the appearance of each map. Unfortunately, that's where the good ends. But before we move on to the bad, please consider liking and subscribing. It's completely free, but supports the channel immensely, and you can always change your mind later. Right, let's move on to the bad. Splitgate 2 instantly became one of my most hype upcoming games in the multiplayer world when it was teased. I adored the original and the memories with friends that I made while playing that game. This game has lost that spark. The default weapons and a larger focus on power weapons is gone, instead replaced with a boring played out class system where you choose between three guns with two attachment slots, you choose between two pieces of equipment, and then you choose two perks. It's dull, unimaginative, and creates the one thing that didn't exist in Splitgate, a hard weapon meta. Then you have factions. Three factions, Eros, Meridian, and Sabrask. Or as they're known in every other game, the fast player, the healer, the tank. A class system isn't inherently bad, but this class system offers nothing new, and when one class allows you to use an SMG with a very quick time to kill, as well as a health stim, equipment, and super speed ability that recharges very fast, you very quickly have 6 to 8 of the players in a lobby playing one faction because that seems the most powerful. Then we move to gunplay. The game went from similar to Halo, with a larger than normal time to kill and slower firing weapons that reward precision and thoughtfulness, into a jetpack card, run and gun with assault rifles, SMGs and shotguns available as your constant weapon. This creates two issues. 
Power weapons are less appealing due to your base gun feeling more custom and yours. Secondly, power weapons feel like an afterthought. They don't feel powerful compared to base guns and don't feel fun to use, leaving the question, why bother? Portaling. In an effort, I think, to reduce the skill ceiling and make the game more accessible to a larger player base, they've dramatically reduced the amount of surfaces onto which you can project a portal. This has had the effect of making portaling something that was previously incredibly intuitive and difficult to avoid doing, and turned it into something that to do naturally, you have to be quite good at the game to do. This has then had the inverse effect of what I think they intended, as well as making a unique feature something that feels less fun to do and more like a skill I have to practice to get good at. Overall, I'm incredibly disappointed. Splitgate was a ton of fun, and it feels like with the sequel they've stripped away everything fun, unique, and lacking from the arena space, and they've crumbled under the pressure of conformity to add classes and factions and try to make people who don't want to get good more willing to play has had the inverse effect of making the game more difficult to get good at. This feels like a very large swing and a miss and in a couple of hours went from something I couldn't wait for the full release of to a game I'm not sure I'll play anymore. Of course this is fine, and not every game is made for everyone, and maybe I'm in the minority, but this has gone from Splitgate 1, a game I wasn't particularly good at, but didn't really care because it was fun, becoming a game that even when a brand new and a particularly exciting release for me, I just cannot get any enjoyment from playing. All I can hope is that others share my opinions and as a result 1047 listen to the community and reconsider the way the game is designed to function. But this is unlikely without significant pushback due to the length of time it's already been in development and these new systems being a cornerstone of their marketing strategy. Despite being an alpha I will still give it a score and maybe I will revisit at full release to see if my feelings change. But as of right now, I can only give it a 42 out of 100. Wholly uninspired, with no soul, hiding behind a previously viral IP and a lot of sponsored content creators.